rebounding the the dream, the first game of the season they had 17, I want to say, offensive rebounds, and Cheyenne Parker mm-hmm. had nine herself. Mm-hmm. When you watch them, do you look at her specifically? We would try to be, oh, I'm going to maneuver this way, I'm going to maneuver this way, or you just have in your head, like, we got to make sure they don't crash the offensive boards. They definitely have players, especially Cheyenne, that we're looking for where that person isn't even rebounding. They're just focusing on making sure that she doesn't get the rebound, so blocking them out. Because that's how she makes her money, we have to make sure that she's not getting – Nine offensive rebounds. I think you'll literally see this vein burst in Cheryl's eye if she gets nine offensive rebounds tonight. Actually, <laughs> we'll just pack up our bags. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see for the rest of the season. Where's she going in the second place? Uh, Rachel, for you and, like, other ball handlers, like, what was the kind of reset over practice? Like, Cheryl was talking about, like, throwing over the top and those pick and rolls. Like, how do yeah. you feel coming in to just kind of be like, okay, we got to, like, remember if we're being, like, hedged and, and trying to avoid yeah. those mistakes? I mean, I think their ball screen defense is a little different, and obviously yeah. going against Elizabeth Williams is a task. Um, but... Playing underneath people is always better in general just because people are huge and trying to get deflection. So just focusing on playing underneath people um, and still staying aggressive, you know, on the ball screens. Because if you think about it, like, that pulse player doesn't really want to actually have to guard you. So just continuing to stay aggressive. How much of the, the first game do you guys want to just flush? And how much of it is, hey, there's a real learning potential here? I mean, you always learn from it, but I, I, I think definitely... we only want to flush the second quarter, really. Yeah. I think we played overall, like, I thought our first, for being our first game, I thought it was a good first game. Our second quarter is just, like, what killed us. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. And I think we bounced back fast from it. Like, we came back in the second half and we fixed a lot of the things that happened, but it was just we dug ourselves a hole too much. So we just want to make sure that we can't have quarters like that, we can't have slumps like that, where we got out of it in the, in the third quarter, but it took too long, and by, the end, by that time we had already lost the game. Yeah. And we have two questions on the Zoom. Alexa. Oh, you're muted. Are, that's me. Oh. oh, no, it's us. It's not you, Alexa. Can you okay, hear? can you hear me? Yep. Okay. Sorry about that. Um, I just have a question for each of you. Um, Fee, I'll start with you. Who are some leaders that you've looked up to over the years, either basketball-wise or even off the court, that you try to kind of take things from how they've you know, led or things from their leadership styles into like how you lead, you know, the team now? Um, I think you can take leadership styles from a lot of different people. Like I've taken them from different coaches that I've had, different teammates in the past, specifically on this Lynx team, Simone was and Syl were my vets. Like they're different leadership styles. And even like, this is random, but when we watched like the Jordan documentary, just like some of the leadership styles that they had on there. And I think you take pieces of everything and try to turn it into your own because I'm not like any of those people. So I have to twist it into my own style, but you just take pieces here and there from everyone and try to make it your own. What from the Jordan documentary like stood out in terms of like leadership? Were you like, are you being like a MJ leader? No, no, that's what I'm saying. Like I would never be like an MJ, (laughs) but I like how he holds his teammates accountable, even though like he's a lot more aggressive than I would be in it. And he calls people out a lot more than I would do. I would do it in a different way, but he holds his teammates teammates accountable and that's what makes the team better and that's something that I want to implement into my leadership style. Mm-hmm. For sure. Yeah, I was going to say, I don't quite see you in the, the MJ mold, but maybe yeah. it's certainly a little less aggressive. Um, yeah. And then Rachel, how have you seen Fee emerge as a leader since, um, you know, you started playing with her? Uh, I think that she's just been a lot more vocal. I can tell that she's like being really intentional about that and um, huddling us and like kind of putting in her two cents when she can. and. And like she said, she's working on, like, holding accountable piece, and we've talked about that, like, recently at practice. I think that was literally yesterday. Yeah. Um, about holding our teammates accountable more. So um, that's something that we can continue to talk about and keep trying to get better at. Gotcha. Thank you both. Thanks. i got to stop smiling like that. And then Christos. <laughs> what do you do? It doesn't matter. Hello, ladies. Hope you're doing well. Question for both of you. What did you learn from the beginning of the season so far about the team? And what would you, would you like to improve about your game as a team? Um, I think I learned that we are in our first game pretty resilient like I said our second quarter was really bad and it would have been easy to kind of throw in the towel because we had such a horrible quarter and you could feel it but I think we bounced back pretty well from that Um, something I want to get better at is not putting ourselves in that position in the first place and not having our mistakes snowball because that's really what happened like we would have turnover after turnover instead of realizing that we are getting in that spiral and pulling ourselves out of it. Thank you very much. Thanks. And 
Thank you guys. You guys are good. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.